Hello guys, good evening. How are you today? Hello, hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Christopher Del Mereli. Hello, Eliseo. Welcome to the class. Nice to see you tonight. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Carolina. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you? How are you tonight? Is everything okay? Está todo bien? Great, teacher. Okay. Is it hot in the place where you live? Está haciendo mucho, mucho calor, sorry, donde viven. Yes. Yes. It's hot tonight, right? Very hot. It's very hot. Yes, you are right. So, welcome again to this class. And yesterday we were learning how to describe people by the cloth they are wearing, right? Ayer aprendimos cómo describir verdad a las personas por lo que andan usando, por la ropa que llevan puesto. Y la pregunta era, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Do you remember that question? And also we learn colors. What are you wearing in colors? So can you see the picture of Jacqueline Campos? What is she wearing that picture? Everyone can see that picture. Can you tell me what is she wearing in that picture? Pueden ver la foto de Jacqueline. Say, so tell me, what is she wearing? A uh, red top. Okay, she's wearing a red top. And look at Jose Martinez's picture. What is he wearing? Okay, Jacqueline, don't worry. It's just your picture, the picture of your profile on Zoom. Don't worry, Carolina. Uh, what is Jose Martinez wearing in his picture? Can you see him? La foto de perfil de Jose Martinez, what is he wearing? He is a uh, white t-shirt. He's wearing a black t-shirt cap. Okay, he's wearing a white t-shirt. And also he is wearing a black, black cap. cap. Okay, thank you. I have on I am on an orange sleeveless that is in mangas. Una camisa sin mangas. That's great. So Take a look of the picture of Emmanuel Garcia. What is he wearing? Look at the picture. Vean la imagen en el perfil de Emmanuel Garcia. What is he wearing? He's wearing white shirt. Okay, he's wearing a white shirt. Observen Alba Rebeca Menjibar. Observen la foto de perfil de ella. What is she wearing? She's wearing a black dress. Okay, probably she's wearing a black dress. Also, she's wearing some gold earrings there. And that's great. So we learned yesterday that's my right, colors and describing people's club. What is people wearing at the moment that we are speaking? That was yesterday's topics. In tonight's topics, we are going to learn about possessive adjective and possessive pronouns. But before to go to tonight's topics, I want to ask you a question. And the question is, how are you doing on the platform exercises? ¿Cómo van en la plataforma en la sección 4? ¿Ya comenzaron? ¿Ya la terminaron? Uy, teacher, yo ya ni me acuerdo. La hice yes. la semana yes. pasada. Pero con el tema de posesivos y adjetivos, este, no sé si podría explicar bien y profundizar porque me confunde. 
Okay, so tonight we're going to study this topic, right? Este es el día donde usted puede hacer todas las preguntas. Ok, Brenda. Ok. Ok, that's great. ¿Alguien más tiene algún problema en la sección número 4? ¿Algún comentario? Ya la comenzó, ya la terminé. No, teacher. Eh, me he detenido en los últimos dos ejercicios, pero estoy en esta. Ok, Jonathan, thank you. Uh, don't forget that you have to complete this part of the platform during this week. Al final de esta semana tiene que estar terminada la sección número 4. ¿De acuerdo? Don't forget that, please. So let's start with tonight class. Nice to see you tonight, all of you guys. So let's start with tonight class. And this is the topic for tonight. Possessive adjective and also possessive pronouns. So let's start with this topic. In this class, you will learn how to use possessive in order to describe belong, belongings of things. En esta clase vamos a aprender cómo utilizar los posesivos para describir a quién pertenece algo. ¿no? A quién le pertenece algo. So let's start with this. So I'm pretty sure that you have already seen this picture on the platform. Los que ya pasaron la sección número cuatro, I'm sure that you watch this picture in the video. So let's see. The possessive adjective son los adjetivos que utilizamos para decir que algo le pertenece a alguien. So I have my, your, his, her, Our and their. Ellos significan mío, tuyo, ¿verdad? De él, de ella, nuestro y de ellos. So, look at this example. These are his socks. Estos calcetines son de él, ¿verdad? Now, los pronouns, los, eh, los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Siempre van a ir antes de un nombre. Look at this, his socks. El nombre acá es socks. Los adjetivos posesivos siempre van a ir antes de un nombre. Los pronouns, en cambio, no necesitan ir así. So, look at this example. These socks are mine. Significa míos. Acá es mío, aquí es míos. These socks are mine. Estos calcetines son míos. These socks are yours. These socks are his. These socks are ours. These socks are theirs. So let's take a look at some examples. Do you remember this conversation? We studied this conversation yesterday. So look at the first one. Our clothes are dry. Is it a possessive adjective or a possessive pronoun? What do you think? Is an adjective or a pronoun in this case? Adjective. Ok, it's an adjective. Está antes de la, del, del noun clot, ¿verdad? So, es un adjetivo. Está antes de un nombre. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Then, look at the question. Is it yours? Look at this question. Ok. It's a pronoun, right? No hay un nombre ahí. Then it's a possessive pronoun. Is it yours? ¿Es esto tuyo? Is it, no, it's not mine. It's ahí that. le contesta con el mismo pronombre, ¿verdad? Mine. No, it's, it's mine. Ok, look at the question is, is it yours? ¿Es esto tuyo? No, it's not mine. No, no es mío. Mind es un adjetivo o un pronombre posesivo en este caso? Pronombre posesivo. Mind es a possessive pronoun. Mío. No, it's not mind. Yes, it is. Uh, wait, it is mind, it says. Esto es mío. And the last one, the last example in this conversation, whose genes are they? ¿De quién son estos jeans? Dice, oh, they're mine. 
their mind. Again, it's a possessive pronoun. pronoun. Possessive pronoun. So, no olvidemos esto. Un adjetivo posesivo siempre va a ir antes de un nombre. Y el un pronombre posesivo, no, ¿verdad? No necesita un nombre. So, let's take a look at this information. Possessive pronouns are pronouns that demonstrate ownership. Los pronombres posesivos, ¿verdad? Demuestran a quién pertenece algo. Y muestran ¿verdad? que algo le pertenece a alguien en particular. Like other pronouns. Como otros pronombres, de great for brevity and for avoiding repetition. ¿Para qué necesitamos estos pronouns? Es para evitar la repetición. ¿verdad? Para que no volvamos a repetir lo que ya hemos dicho. Y para hacer más breve las oraciones y evitar repetición. Y esta información es importante. Los posesivos adjetivos proceden a un sustantivo o un nombre, mientras que los poses y pronouns no preceden a ningún sustantivo. Esto nos puede ayudar a identificarlo cuando vamos a utilizar un possessive adjective y cuando es un poses y pronouns. Don't forget about this. This can help you a lot. So let's take a look at some examples. In this chart, you can identify the personal pronouns and I have I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. Los adjetivos posesivos son los de la columna de en medio. Para I, yo tengo my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, is, we, our, they, their. And the possessive pronouns are mine, you, mine for I, yours for you, his for he, hers for she, it for it, ours for we, and theirs for they. So let's take a look at these sentences. We are going to read the following example. These are his socks. So look at this. The object is socks. In this case, these are his socks. Is it a possessive pronoun or a possessive adjective? Adjective. All of them are adjective, yes. So these are his socks. This is your umbrella. This is her card. So we can say these sentences using possessive pronouns. So take a look at the other examples. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. So in the first example, they are adjective, possessive adjective, and in the second, they are possessive pronouns. Let's continue with another example. My car is black. So you can say my car is black, or you can say the black car is mine. My white dress is blue. The blue dress is Hers. My co worker computer is white. His computer is white. So if you say my cat is red, ¿cómo puedo hacerla utilizando poses y pronouns? Let me write the sentence answer. This is the first practice. Do you have any question until this moment? No question. No question. No question. Okay, look at this sentence. My cap is red. Acá estoy utilizando un adjective or possessive pronoun. Adjective. Okay, it's an adjective. Now, si quiero decir la gorra, 
roja es mía. ¿Cuál the sería red, la? Pues the red cat is mine. Ah, ok. The red cat is mine. My cap is red. You see, the red cap is mine. And you say, for example, my sister's card is black. My sister card is black. Tengo la oración, el carro de mi hermana es negro, negro, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo digo el carro negro es de mi hermana? The black cat is black her. car is her sister. Ok, the black car is hers. The black car is hers. Entonces se vuelve un objeto, ¿verdad? El pronombre posesivo. Para no repetir, the black car is hers. Do you have any question? ¿Tienen preguntas? Bueno, tal vez en los ejercicios. So let's go with the exercise. We are going to complete the following exercise and we are going to practice this topic. So here is the first one. Can you please help me to decide which is the right word to complete this small conversation? Is this Jennifer's hat? No, it no hurts. It my or mine. ¿Cuál es el correcto? And can you tell me why? Y podría decirme mine. por qué. Mm. It's mine. Yes, you are right. It's mine. It's a positive. Okay. It's a positive. Uh, in... okay. It's a positive. Eh, it's at the end, ¿verdad? No sigue a ningún sustantivo. Entonces es possessive pronouns. Let's go with the next. Are these, what is the right? Yours. Your or your? Yours. Are these yours or your gloves? Your gloves. The first your. one or the second? Mm. El primero o el segundo? The first. Yes, the first one. Your. It's an adjective to are these your gloves? No, they are not. They are not. A teacher, ¿y ahí por qué your? It's an it's no a possessive. Possessive. It's a possessive adjective. As you could. Es un adjetivo posesivo porque sigue a un nombre. El nombre aquí sería gloves. So are these your gloves? It's before gloves. Ajá, si es, está antes de un nombre. Entonces es un adjetivo. Y el adjetivo es your. Yours es el pronombre posesivo. Ajá, no. no, they are not my or mine. No, they are not my, they are not my. My. No. Is it correct? No, they are not no. my gloves. No. Correct. Right. It's mine. It's the first mine. Okay, no, they are not mm -hmm. mine. No, they're not my gloves. Okay, let's ask Sally. Maybe they're... Mm, 
maybe they are hair or hair's gloves? Hair. Hair gloves. The, the first one. Hairs. Okay, very good. Let's see number three. Is whose or yours? Who? Who? Okay. Back. After continue this, let's come back to the first uh, slide. Vamos a ir a la primera. What is it? What is the first Who? one? Bah, aquí estamos en el... So let's see. Look at this question. Whose es una palabra que significa a quién, ¿verdad? A quién pertenece a algo. Let me erase those notes. So let's see. Pat blows. Ya anteriormente me habían preguntado qué significaba esa S, ¿verdad? En los nombres. Eso indica que le pertenece, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, la blusa, ¿de quién es? En el primer ejemplo, Pat Blows. Pat. Muy bien, es la, la blusa, blusa de, de Pat. Es la blusa Pat. de Pat. Eh, jeans, Julie's Jeans. So, los jeans pertenecen a Julie. Eh, Rex T-shirt. La camiseta pertenece a la camiseta de Rex. Si conocemos el nombre de la persona, ¿verdad? Para responder esa pregunta, whose blouse is this? So you say, it's Pat. Luego, whose jeans are these? So you say, they're Julie's. En el primero utilizamos is this porque es singular. En el segundo utilizamos are these because it's plural. And the answer in singular is with it. Y en plural es they're. De ¿Cuál sería la respuesta en esta pregunta? Whose t-shirt is it? O oh, is this? Whose t-shirt is this? Responderíamos con it o con their? It. 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 Yet, ¿Y a quién pertenece? Yes, only one to shirt. Sí. Mm -hmm. Rex. Ok, is Rex. Is Rex. Rex es una señorita o un caballero. Uh, no, un caballero. Entonces, caballero. si yo no conozco el nombre, yo puedo decir cuál sería el pronombre posesivo que necesito utilizar. Sí. Is. Her. No. His. 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 Okay. It his. It his. It Whose teacher her. is this? You say it his. Es de él. O oh, it rex. Puede utilizar cualquiera de las dos respuestas. Es de él. Whose teacher is this? You say it rex. It his. Es de él. En el caso de que no conociéramos su nombre, dice it his. Es de él. Do you have any question in this part? So I have here, ¿cómo se pronuncia whose? Oh, whose. Is whose. That is the pronunciation. Whose. Whose jeans are these? Whose blouse is this? Any question in this part? Question. Si fuera de ella. Oh, yes, her. Sería her. Let's go. Her. whose dress is it? Is this? Sorry. Whose dress is this? A quien pertenece este vestido? Whose dress is this? So you say it's. Supongamos que de Pat. So you say it's Pat. Or you can say it's her. hers. It hers. It hurts. Es de ella. So look at this other one. Whose backpacks. 
Backpacks. Sure, backpacks are these. Whose backpack are these? So you say their. Their. Whose backpack are these? So you say their. Pat and Julie's. Mm -hmm. Ellas son de Pat o Julie's. ¿Cuál sería la otra opción utilizando? Their, theirs. Okay, their, theirs. Their, theirs. Estas mochilas son de ellas. Their, theirs. Questions? Do you have any questions in this part? So don't forget. Possessive adjective follow nouns. Possessive pronouns don't need to follow a noun. And the apostrophe means that something belongs to someone. El apostrophe significa que algo le pertenece a alguien. So let's go to the exercises again and let's finish the exercises. If you don't have any other question. Vamos entonces a los ejercicios. So we have already seen this. These are the examples again. Here is the exercise. So let's complete number three. Then you say uh, whose, right? That is the word whose. It's a question. So you say whose t-shirts are these? Are they Julius and Pat? No, they are not. What is the right word? The adjective or the pronoun? Possessive adjective or possessive pronouns in this sentence? Adjective. No, they're not. They are t-shirts. Pronoun. No, they're not. They are t-shirts. Is it right? No, they're not their t-shirts. That is the answer. Let's go with the next yes. exercise. Okay, let's practice in this part. Can you help me practice in, in this small conversation? Who wants to try in the first one? Okay, I have Emmanuel, but just give me a second. I'm gonna write the answers here. So you say, no, it's no hurt, it's mine. Mine. It's mine in the first one. Let me complete the other one. Are these your? Your. No, they are not mine. mine. Then maybe they're hair. hair gloves. Okay. Now, can you help me, please, practicing this conversation? So I have two volunteers now, who, Emmanuel and Delmi Alexandra. Thank you so much. So Emmanuel, you are A, Alexandra, you are B. One and two, please. Uh, is this Jennifer hat? No, it is not her. It's my. Are these you rock? No, they are not my gloves. Let's and Sally. Sally? Sally? Maybe they are here gloves. Whose teacher are these? Are they Julie and Pat? No, they are not. They, they're their teachers. Okay, thank you so much. No, they are not their teachers. Thank you very much. A very good job in this part. Any other two volunteers to practice? Who wants to try? The last two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Thank you, Jonathan and Delmi Areli. Thank you so much. 
So tell me you are A, Jonathan, you are B. Is this Jennifer Hatch? No, it's not sir. It's... Are these your gloves? No, they are not my gloves. Let's ask Sally. Okay, the last one, please. Maybe their hair, maybe their hair. Okay, maybe their hair gloves. And the conversation number um, three. Whose teachers are these? Are they Julius and Pat? No, they are not their teachers. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Jonathan and Delmi. Olga, do you have a question? Um, pregunta. Okay, tell me, Olga, what is your question? El house, house, house. Um, si just que, que, por qué se emplea así al principio? Eh, es para pregunta, pero qué, qué es? ¿Cómo se traduce? Who's es a quién pertenece algo. Who's. Thank. ¿De quién es o a quién pertenece? Thank. Ok. Thank you for your question. Let's go with the... Let's continue with the next exercise. Just let me read the notes. And let's start again. Number one. But these socks are their or theirs? Theirs. 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 Porque es plural. Sock. Okay, so theirs. It's a possessive okay. pronoun. Possessive pronoun. But these socks are theirs. And the next one. Yours. The yours. shorts are? Yours. 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 Yes, sure. And the next one? Yours. Oh. Hey, these are not? Oh. Oh. Oh, we're oh, not. Oh, Is it correct? Hey, these are not our clots or our clots. Mm. And in the last one, letter B, you're right. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál sería la correcta en la última? Um, you're right. Ours. Ours. Okay. Can you say ours? Ours. Ours. ¿Por qué ours? ¿Qué dice? Bye. You are right. La nuestra está ahí. So it's ours or our? Ours. Oh. Okay. Our. Our. The first one or the second? La primera o la segunda opción? Our or ours? Here. Yeah. So. The first one? Okay. It's the first one. Our. Our are over there. It's like our clothes are over there. Nuestra ropa está ahí, ¿verdad? Our is the, the right answer in this exercise. Do you have es any question? Or... Es que a mí me sale buena como la segunda. Sí. Es... That is in the platform. Nuestra ropa. Vaya, ¿recuerdan la regla? ¿Cuál es la, la regla? 
la información que vimos anteriormente. Our es un adjetivo posesivo. Oh, el que está ahorita como en, en la línea es el adjetivo. El otro es el pronombre. ¿Se acuerdan de la información que vimos anteriormente? Yes. Va, muy bien. Decía que un adjetivo positivo. El adjetivo va antes que el de un nombre. Y en este sí. caso no lo tenemos, ¿verdad? Entonces sería... Oh, oh, hours. 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 Sería oh, hours. 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 Mm, not teach, thank you. Okay, let's complete this small conversation, please, with the right yeah. possessive adjective or yes. possessive pronouns. Let's see number one. The first one is this. Mm. Olga, tell me, is this my book? Yes. It's what is the right possessive pronoun? Yes, it's mine. Mine. It's mine. Yes, mine. mine. Oh, okay. Mine. Si yo llego mine. al salón de clase y le pregunto, Brenda, is this my book? Brenda, yes, ¿es, yes, es, yes, es este yes. mi libro? Yes, it's you. Uh, ah, okay. yes, it's you. Es cierto. Ah, okay. <laughs> Yes, it's yours. Yes. <laughs> yours. The second one is this wow. Megan. Is this Megan's book? Yes, it's her. Yes, it's her. Yes. Okay, excellent. Yes, it's her. Is this your book? Ahora sí, ahora llego yo. Brenda, it's is this your book? It's mine. Uh -huh. it's mine. Yes, yes. It's yes. Mine. Yet it's mine. Thank you, Brenda. Yes, it's mine. And the next one. Is this your parents' card? Yes, it's uh, um, ours. Uh, uh. Ours or theirs? Ours or theirs? Theirs. 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 Oh, is this oh, your parents they, card? Yes, it's theirs. They he is the ages. They, and the last one, is this your sister phone? Yes, it's her yes. new smartphone. It's hers. Yes. Okay, and you say, mm -hmm. yes, it hers. Her. Hers or her new smartphone. Is this your sister phone? Yes, it's her new smartphone. Yeah. Is it correct? Hers or hair? Her. Her, her, her. 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 Okay, I need to volunteer to practice in this conversation. Thank you so much. You did a great job solving this exercise. Thank you very much. Very good job. Now we are going to practice speaking. We're going to practice this small conversation. So I have uh, Olga and Christopher. So Olga, can you please help me reading A and Christopher reading B, please? Okay. Este... Uh, is this my book? Is this my book? Yes. Yes, it's yours. Is this Megan? Is this Megan's book? Yes, it's hers. Is this your book? Yes, 
It's mine. Is this your parents car? Yes, it's theirs. Is this your sister phone? Yes, it's her new smartphone. New? Her new smartphone. Okay, thank you. Now, Christopher, can you please read the question and tell me, Arely, can you read the answers, please? Christopher, the question and tell me, Arely, the answers. No question, teacher. Oh, no, help me, help me, please. Can you please read the question to practice with Delmi? And Delmi is going to read the answers. Christopher, puede usted leer las preguntas y Delmi las respuestas, please? Delmi, Arely. Ah, sí, teacher. Okay, sí, teacher. Como que si no le entiendo. Vaya. Eh, yo las pregunto, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Ok. Is this my book? Yes, it's yours. Is this Megan's book? Yes, it's hers. Is this your book? Yes, it's mine. Is this your parent's car? Yes, yes, it's theirs. Is this your sister phone? Yes, it's her new smartphone. Thank you so much. Now, Delmi Arely, can you please read the question? And Delmi Alexandra is going to read the answers. Is this my book? Yes, it's yours. Is this Megan, Megan's book? Yes, it's hers. Is this your book? Yes, it's mine. Is this your parents' car? Yes, it's there. Is this your sister phone? Yes, it's her new smartphone. Okay, thank you very much. You did a great job in this part. Thank you so much. Uh, just these were theirs. Is this your parents' car? Yes, it's theirs. Theirs is the pronunciation. They Any questions? Como dijo teacher, perdón. Theirs. They theirs. They they yes, they it's theirs. Es similar a their, ¿verdad? Ajá, their, theirs. Theirs. ¿Cómo lo diferencio, teacher, para poderlo pronunciar? El sonido de la S. En theirs. Their. Termina el sonido de eh, Arab, Deir. Deirs, Deirs. Deir, Deirs. Deirs significa ellos, teacher. Ellos son o ellos están. Deir ah, es de ellos. Es de ellos, Deirs. Ok. Thank you, teacher. So you, okay, so you say their and theirs. Okay, thank you so much. Let's go with the next exercise. I have a couple of exercise more here for you to practice. Just give me a second. I'm going to raise the note in this and let's continue. Here we go. This is the next exercise. So can you please help me to order these words to make uh, sentences? to make correct sentences. So in the first one, I have mine. Mine, they are yours. Cats and the cats are big, big 
Mouse. and ears. The brain, this, the brain is red brain, but the news that is. The cat of mine and yours. Okay, that's the first one. Thank you. Can you please repeat the sentence? The cat no. Cats are my yeah. Yeah, I'm are sorry. It's a start with the the cats are mine and yours. Mine and yours. yours. Okay, the cats are mine and yours. The quién son los gatos? The cat. Tuyo y mío. Okay. Tuyo y mío. In the second one, tell me to solve the second one. The second sentence. The big house. Okay, the big house. The big house. Oh, thank you, yes, theirs. The big house is theirs. La casa grande les pertenece a ellos. Es de ellos. The big house is theirs. The dog is mine. Okay, excellent. The dog is mine. mine. The dog is mine. The dog El is perro mine. Es mi. Okay, the, el perro es. The rain is hers. Es, es, es de él, de ella. The next sentence. The, yes. the back. The back is. Okay. Ours, ours. Let's see, one, two, three, four. La número cuatro, ¿cómo sería? The number four. The rain is hers. It's hers. Uh, the ring. The, the ring. ring is, the ring is hers. The ring is hers. Muy bien. The ring is hers. And the last one. The back is ours. Ours. The ours. back is ours. Is ours. Ours. El bolso nos pertenece. So let's see in the chat. I have some. Porque, porque too big in the second example. What? What happened in the second one? Oh, I'm, oh yeah. Time, yeah. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. We need just one. Solo necesitamos the, un. The, the big, last big, two. Big. <laughs> the big, two big. times. <laughs> Which one? In the last, but, but, but. Ah, okay. Me las pegué dos veces cuando las estaba desordenando. I'm sorry for the mistake. But we just need one. The back is ours. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go with the last exercise for tonight. Let me erase here the notes. And let's go with the next. Okay, do you look at this picture? What are they wearing? What is she wearing in this picture? Do you oh. remember that? Oh. What is she wearing? Who's oh. are? Mm -hmm. Who's are you? So, what are they wearing? What is she? Let's start with the gear. What is she wearing? Um, Do you remember yesterday class? Do you say she is wearing? Jacket? No, no, really. Yes, she's wearing a jacket. 
Jackets, very jacket, nice jacket. Light brown. Like a light brown jacket. Maybe. A light brown. <laughs> She's wearing a light brown jacket. Yeah, you're right. The next. Uh, jeans blue. Al revés, blue jeans. I blue jeans. She's wearing <laughs> blue jeans. Thank you. She wearing. She wearing. She's wearing a boot. A boot. I no sé cómo es que sí. Black boot. Okay, she's wearing black yes. boots. <laughs> okay. Light black. Uh, oh. She wearing blue. Yes. Light blue. No. Light, light blue. Light blue. Blow. Blow. Light okay. blue. Light blue. Light blue. She's wearing like. A light blue blouse. Blow. Excellent. And what about the boy? What is he wearing? He's wearing black jeans. Okay, he's wearing black jeans. He's wearing a brown jacket. Thank you. He's wearing a brown jacket. He's wearing a black white watch. Black and white watch. Thank you. He's wearing a white and black watch. Thank you so much. He's he wearing, wearing a brown boot. He's brown wearing boots. brown boots. Okay, now look at this small picture. Whose boots? Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? Oh, yes, Gilma. Primero vamos a decir el, el color. En inglés, primero va el adjetivo y luego va el nombre. En este caso, los colores son adjetivos para describir la ropa, la prenda de vestir. Por eso va primero. El color va primero. Primero decimos el color y luego la prenda de vestir. Blue jeans, black boots, light brown jacket, uh, a gray blouse. So the color is first, Hilma. Thank you for your question on the chat. Now look at the small picture here. Whose boots are these? What's the answer? Whose boots are these? Whose boots are these? So, ¿De quién son esas botas en la imagen pequeña? Necesitamos ahí un possessive pronoun to answer. Is? No. Possessive is. pronouns. My. Um, they, they are um, his. Okay, excellent. They are his. Let's see the next picture. Uh, whose jacket is this? Whose jacket is this? It's hers. Okay, excellent. It hers. And the next, whose watch is this? Whose watch it's is his. this? It's his. It his. Excellent. And this one, whose jeans are these? They are hers. They are hers. Whose hair is this? Uh, it's it's her. It's, it's her. Okay. Thank you so much. So, do you have any question? Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de este tema? Questions? No. Okay. And what about if I write a name? <laughs> Let's imagine that this is, let me see. Delmi. She's Delmi. And he is, let's say, Christopher. ¿Cuál sería la otra manera de responder? 
For example, it, if I say whose hair the, is this, whose hair is the, this, then you say it's Delmi's. It's uh -huh. Delmi. Whose watch is this? Their. Whose watch Facebook. is this? Hers. This. It's. it's I don't know, it's, it's the Christopher. Okay, we can say it's his, or we can say it's Chris, Christopher. Christopher. Christopher, it's Christopher's. Y ponemos en apóstrofe. En apóstrofe. En la S, it's Christopher's. Okay, no more questions. If you don't have any other no question. question. No question, teacher. Okay, let's come back to the platform. We're going to solve this exercise on the platform. Here we go. Just give me a second. Okay, my internet is working a little slow tonight. So here we got connection. Yeah. Okay, let's solve this exercise here. It says, is this Jennifer hat? What's the answer? My third. So it's my second. The second, let's go with the next one. Are these? Are these club? Your, your, your the first, first one or the second? Your. This one. This one? Okay. Number two. No, they are not. My. My, my or mine? My. My. The, fir the first one? As before, club. And number two, maybe they are. Yeah. Her. First or second? La primera. First. First. And in this part? Whose? Whose teacher are Who's. these? Number three. They. they not. No, they are not. They. They. And number three. Okay. Theirs. These socks are? Theirs. Theirs. And these shorts Theirs. are you, yours. 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 And yours. finally, we have number four. Hey, these are not? Oh. Oh. Ours. You're Ours. right. Ours. Ours. Okay. Sacodies. <laughs> Thank you so much. Gracias por la copia. Uh, yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. You got a 10. Bueno, si no habían completado este ejercicio, you can do it now. No se les olviden esa respuesta. Ok. For tomorrow, we are going to study the weather. The weather season. ¿Cuál es su estación favorita del año? Lo vamos a discutir mañana. Okay. What is your favorite season? Okay, teacher. ¿Cuáles son las cuatro estaciones del año, por cierto? Sunny. Invierno. Sunny. Ok, sunny es un tipo de clima. Sunny. Ah, es un tipo. Sun es, no. Uh, sun es ¿Cómo el sería sol? El, la estación? Ah, oh, we have four. They are winter. Ah, okay. uh, winter. Summer. Summer. And the other one? Primavera, teacher. Winter. 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 Okay. Okay, don't worry. We're going to learn that tomorrow. Spring. Muy bien, Maricela Soto. Spring is primavera. We have a spring, winter, summer, and the other one is? And the... Cuando okay. le damos las pescuchas. Cuando Invierno. le damos las pescuchas. Invierno. 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 Invierno.
Paul. Ah, ok, otoño, Paul, muy bien. ¿Se acuerdan de las picuchas, Paul? ¿O todavía vuelan cometas? Sí. Yes. No. Bueno. <laughs> no, yeah. Ok, sí. tomorrow we are going to learn about that. Mañana vamos a aprender acerca de las cuatro estaciones y también del clima. So, okay. thank you so much thank you, for being here with me tonight. If you have any questions, y si tienen alguna pregunta, no olviden que está el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Sí? Thank si you, les quedó alguna duda, me escriben y yo les puedo ayudar con mucho gusto. Ok, okay. thank you so much. Okay. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Night. Bye bye.